Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlickers, shills, debt slay, service peasants, vassals, meat sacks, gun runners. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, let's go back to uh, Iraq and uh, Syria once again and talk about ISIS. And uh, I've, I've done videos about ISIS and their strengths and uh, their relationship with other uh, 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 jihadi groups before in the past. Uh, one, of course, is a video speculating on the the uh, forces that ISIS has in the field. And there's been speculation they have anywhere from 20,000 to 200,000 troops in the field. It's, it's really hard to say, um, considering that we've had a, a couple years of, uh, of uh, conflict now and uh, the last year of, of, of bombings. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much speculation on how many uh, fighters ISIS has, but uh, I, I would suspect that the truth lies somewhere in between that uh, ISIS is probably uh, dealing in the tens of thousands, 20 or 30,000. But uh, who knows? But one of the things that certainly sets them aside from any of these groups that we've dealt with before, like Al Qaeda, is uh, their modern weaponry. And uh, this is a result of uh, battlefield victories, certainly the most famous ones being the battlefield victories they had in Iraq early on and all the controversy about how they ended up getting handed over uh, uh, a huge amount of munitions and arms, uh, particularly in Mosul, when Mosul fell. And uh, six months ago, a report came out that had a lot of the numbers. And uh, since I've been gone for uh, nine months, uh, this is one of the things I wanted to catch up on because the numbers are, are staggering. Uh, 2,300 Humvees uh, fell into the hands of ISIS and Mosul alone. And these are various... Uh, types of uh, Humvees with different armaments, uh, different armor, uh, different weapon systems, and uh, so this is very formidable uh, for for uh, uh, essentially this terrorist army to be so mobile, and of course they have all the ammunition and gasoline to to go with all of this equipment. 2,300 Humvees in Mosul alone, and that's not including all the uh, equipment that fell in all the other territory they took in in Iraq including around Kirkuk initially, and then all the uh, bases, the Syrian military bases that have fallen in Syria as well. So uh, let's, so first let's go back to what uh, ISIS was able to confiscate in uh, Mosul. And not only did they get 2,300 Humvees, but 74,000 machine guns and all the ammunition to go with them, 52 howitzers and all the ammunition to go with them, 40 M1A1 main Abrams battle tanks and all the ammunition to go with them and uh, the uh, kind of equipment they're getting in Syria includes uh, of course uh, thousands of AK-47s uh, T-72 battle tanks uh, they even paraded around Scud missiles and have uh, bragged about uh, MiG jets that they've captured so uh, ISIS um, is, is set apart from all the, uh, and they're even more uh, well armed uh, than a lot of these jihadi militia. They got the floods of arms in Libya, and even with all the the weapons that flooded Iraq and continue to flood Iraq because uh, not only has all this uh, uh, material been confiscated by ISIS, but U.S. has given uh, the Iraqi army a thousand more Humvees, 175 more tanks, and uh, more uh, weapon systems. And uh, once again, a lot of these are going to end up in the hands of ISIS. And, uh, and then all, all of the, uh, of course, all the nefarious stories about all these weapon systems coming in from, to ISIS from uh, Turkey and other uh, so-called coalition uh, member suppliers. And, uh, and then uh, now we're going to, we'll also have uh, Russian weapons uh, in uh, the Syrian conflict, and some of these could also end up in the hands of uh, ISIS. And uh, we've also noticed that uh, a lot of uh, U.S. weapon systems, including these tow missiles, um, have shown up in the hands of Al-Qaeda in Syria. And uh, these are being used against uh, Syrian and Russian forces as well as ISIS forces by Al-Qaeda. But I uh, just wanted to, uh, to uh, talk about that because uh, this is one of the things that will help um, ISIS uh, stretched the conflict in that region in Syria and Iraq on for quite some time is just how well armed they are and um, it's hard not to see that this was 
all by intention if one looks at e each of the events about how they ended up with this, this equipment, certainly in, in Iraq. In Syria, it's a different story. Uh, this is just captured ground. Uh, the Syria, uh, Syrian military and the Assad regime lost a lot of ground, and uh, a lot of these weapons ended up in the hands of a very formidable organized force. And that's one of the other things uh, to talk about with ISIS is the, the level of competence. Uh, I've seen a lot of arguments out there, people are wondering how uh, these uh, ragtag so-called terrorists uh, operating in the field uh, can manage to use all of this uh, equipment, a lot of it fairly sophisticated, and that bespeaks of the, the nature of ISIS, that uh, they're, they're uh, undoubtedly getting uh, ex-military men from the Iraqi uh, military forces, they're getting ex-military men from the Syrian forces, they're getting um, uh, operatives and special forces operatives from all sorts of bad actors that are operating in Syria and um, so the, the level of sophistication to be able to use a lot of this weaponry is not surprising not to mention there's probably a mercenaries uh, galore uh, I've covered lots of them there's probably lots more and uh, so there's uh, lots of uh, technicians to go around so uh, there we have it a, a little glimpse of ISIS and, and if you really want to be uh, in for a shock um, I'm going to attach below some lists of uh, Wikipedia of, of some of the weaponry that has uh, ended up in the hands of ISIS and it's a, in a very very impressive arsenal indeed and um, so anyway everyone certainly has their work uh, cut out for them. I'm a useful idiot don't you be one too.